Yo ho, yo ho, it's Blarg, miss. Hey, you should make a video about. You should make a video about. Hey, what's your. What's the top five? Um, could you make a video about, like, the top five? Top five. Top five. Top five. Arr, make a video, please. Who said that? Who's there? Arr. Scott! Who are you? Why are you in my room? I be the ghost of Pirate's Future. The ghost of Pirate's Future? Never heard of you. Yes, it's a real thing. You do realize you're wearing my hat. No, this is my hat. Oh, yours. I don't know why you've come here. I've come to warn you. You need to make the video you've avoided for so long. How did you know I had a dream about that? Make the video, or else. I really have to? Rank the five films, or else. Well, if it gets rid of you, <laughs> no offense. Silence! Sorry. <laughs> that was weird. Greetings mates, welcome back to Pirate's Life, and welcome back to Vlogmas. Sorry I didn't do video over the weekend, but I was kind of still feeling sick, and plus my voice, as you can tell, is not the greatest. But as you saw, the ghost of Pirate's Future visited me, and told me I had to make the video that I've been dreading making for over a year and a half. Now this is probably the most requested video on my channel, and if you can't all guess by now, today's video is probably the most uncomfortable video I've ever made. But I'm ranking, get ready for it. The five Pirates of the Caribbean films. It's about time. So as I said, I've been dreading making this video for the longest time. And just a disclaimer, ranking the films is like choosing a favorite child, which is a bad thing to do, in my opinion. And when I rank the films, it doesn't mean that the last one is my least favorite, or that I hate it. I love all of the films, but some of them I have some problems with. Okay, all of them I do. So when I list the last one, don't say, oh, I didn't know you hated that film. This is just my opinion, and I'm finally getting it out there. So to start off with number five, which is the last one on the list, or usually the least favorite, is Pirates 5. Now, I love Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, and I actually rewatch it a lot more than I do, like, Dead Man's Chest or At World's End. But, there's just some things about Pirates 5 that disappoint me. And I'm not gonna go into too much depth about it, but... Just with Jack. What is your lucky day? And Salazar's the villain. Jack this bad bro. Jack this bad bro. Jack this bad bro. Plus Barbos is dead. Er, so not a surprise, but that's the bottom of the list. But again, that's just my opinion. And I still watch Pirates 5. It's on Netflix, so I turned it on and I just watched scenes from it because every Pirates of the Caribbean film brings me into the world when I watch it. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's a Pirates film, so I love watching it. My next one on the list, number four, would be At World's End. I love At World's End. It's so jam-packed with all the characters. There's so many action scenes. Plus, I love the score. From beginning to end, it really is a wild ride. And it is the longest Pirates film. So they were able to jam pack a ton into that film. So again, I love our World's End. I love watching it. I don't watch it as often as I rewatch like some of the other films. But it's always been lower on my list when I've ranked the films in the past. So moving on to number three is Dead Man's Chest. There was a time in the past where I used to say Dead Man's Chest was my favorite film of all time. I remember during a Christmas time, my siblings and I were sitting around. If we had to pick one film to watch for the rest of our lives, couldn't watch anything else, what would we choose? And so I chose Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. And they were kind of like, oh, really? It's like, look at me. I love Dead Man's Chest. I love the adventure that it brings. It's a really solid sequel to Curse of the Black Pearl. Plus, I love the introduction of Davy Jones. I love the new music themes they brought in. And Barbosa comes back at the end of it. So yeah, I love Dead Man's Chest, and it sits at number three on my ranking list. Number two, you ready for it? And you can probably guess, but it's Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Now I know there's so many people out there that say, oh, the first Pirates is my favorite. There's nothing wrong with that. I absolutely love Curse of the Black Pearl. It's the beginning point for the franchise. Just everything about it works together so well. It's just for some reason I can't say, Oh, Pirates 1 is my favorite. Not because everyone else says it's their favorite, but 
I like my number one on the list for weird reasons. Curse of the Black Pearl is always a rewatch for me. If it's on TV, if it's on Netflix, I can just turn it on and maybe watch it for too long and I avoid other duties. But I was warring between putting Curse of the Black Pearl at my number one, a number one that I chose. That seems a bit contradictory, Captain. I know. But moving on to my number one, which isn't a surprise for a lot of my longtime viewers, is Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. I've tried to answer so many times what it is about on Stranger Tides that I love so much. There's just something about the film that's so different from the original trilogy. It was the first film we got after the gap between our worlds ended on Stranger Tides. It's just the story I love, Jack, how he acts in the film. Maybe it's because I can recite the film word for word, although that's something probably to be proud of. I don't know, I think it's just everything combined together. Jack and Barbosa working together in the film. I really do like Blackbeard. I like White Cat Bay. I love the ride references in the film. Plus, at the time it came out, I was at a very different time in my life, and I just remember a lot of happy memories surrounding it. Plus, it is a great adventure film, in my opinion. So yeah, On Stranger Tides is still my number one film. I know I said this before Pirates 5 came out, but maybe a future film will knock On Stranger Tides off the list. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. Sorry I'm kinda hard to hear. I thought I was recovering from my cold, but my voice is going to pot, so to speak. And I had to work today. <laughs> Hopefully customers can hear me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate. Enjoy spending time with your family or friends or just enjoy and appreciate the season. I'll be back tomorrow with yet another episode of Larkmas. And tomorrow's video is going to be a bit of a surprise, so it'll be a nice Christmas gift for you all. Remember, there'll be more than one way to live the pirate's life. Ta.